away. They've gone away in a pretty fair line. Pabulum Ted in the air at the start. And I'm a red man was actually first out with Staverdale. Not a line down deep on the track. Mountaineer and Shoemace are all up in search of the lead early. And going through in the centre is the old stage of Rising Fear. He may take up the running. As they come to the judges' box with a circuit to go, Staverdale on the inside is pulling from Fry's Delight. Rising Fear. Sir Legend three back on the inside in the box seat from I'm a Red Man. Mountaineer out four deep at the moment. Pacific Mirage and Island Spy on the inside. Pabulum two away. Then came Grosvenor Hall. With it was not a line to length away Shoemace. Two to be reasonable. Well, well back there was Boo Yarn and on the outside of it inhibit and last of all is Kate's Mill 1700 metres to go and Stavardale in front and the pace is very slow at the moment it leads by almost two lengths Fry's Delight is second, a half to Sea Legend, a length away Rising Fear. A half back on the inside is I'm a Red Man, three deep Mountaineer. In the centre there, Pacific Mirage on the inside, Pabulum, a half length further back. Was Island Spy, a length and a half to uh, Grosvenor Hall. Around it, the grain on a line, two lengths to Shoemace, a length further back in Hibbert. And back at the rear, B Reasonable on the inside, Kate's Mill and uh, Boo Yarn. Along the back, they head to the 1200. And the leader was Stavardale, two and a half in front of Fry's Delight, a neck away Rising Fear. Two lengths to Sea Legend, Getting the run of the race. A length and a half to Pacific Mirage. Mountaineer still out three deep on the inside was I'm a Red Man. A length further back, Island Spy being ridden along on the fence, Pabulum. A length away again then, two not aligned. A length and a half, Grosvenor Hall, Shoemace. Over on the outside is Inhibit. Well back then, Boo Yarn with Be Reasonable and Kate's Mill on the inside. They run to the 800 and Stavardale leading by a length. Given a cut with a whip, Rising Fear. Sea Legend is out to third, then came on the inside, Fry's Delight. Pacific Mirage is next, a length further back in the field, I'm a Red Man. Then came the Island Spy and with it was Mountaineer. Pabulum hard ridden as they run by the 600 from not aligned out deep. And well back, Grosvenor Hall in Hibbert. And then Boo Yarn and behind it, Shoemace up near the turn. And Sea Legend race to the lead in the cup from Stavardale on the inside. Third is Pacific Mirage, then Mountaineer. Out deep, Island Spy on the inside. Next was Friars Delight. And then came Rising Fear. 2.50 out, Pacific Mirage. And on the inside, Sea Legend. I'm a Red Man getting a split Island Spy on the outside. And inhibit right down the centre. I'm a Red Man. Pacific Mirage hits the lead Island Spy. Inhibit out deep on the track. Pacific Mirage. Sea Legend fighting back. Island Spy, Pacific Mirage. Sea Legend the inside. They hit it. Heads up, heads down. Oh, maybe Sea Legend. Nothing in it. Sea Legend and Pacific Mirage. Close for third. Island Spy and Pabulum. Then inhibit I'm a Red Man. Next in would have been Kate's Mill. Behind it, Friars Delight. Then Shoemace. Donaline did nothing from Grosvenor Hall. Mountaineer. Well back was Booyan, Rising Fierce, Stavardale. And last to pull up, Be Reasonable. Heads up, heads down. Bobbing finish here in the cup in which Michael Clark on the inside has been absolutely at his vigorous best after looking as if he may be beaten. And you can see there, when they've hit the line on the freeze frame, there's absolutely nothing in it. Uh, oh, you can't really have a pick here. You, to the naked eye from where I am, in my position, it does look as if Sea Legend may have kicked on the inside, but the outer is Pacific Mirage, and it's right in this.
of the pair as one, you'd never ever hear of them call for two developed prints. It can only be that there's some sort of a fault in the other print. In fact, right. it's, it's, it's quite an incredible feeling at the moment. While we see these other jockeys out there on the course at the moment, all the other tail enders are marching past us here heading into the jockeys' room. <laughs> <laughs> as I say, uh, for anyone that's been associated with the racing game, it is quite a funny sensation to watch everyone going past. Cassidy, Jimmy Cassidy's uh, just uh, walking past us here at the moment. Of course, uh, the rider of uh, Bart Cummings' is, uh, horse. And uh, head down, not looking too happy. Harry White, the big names. Hey. Uh, are left without a winner, basically. It's off to a very interesting situation. Now, what have we got up here? We've got number two in the frame, but uh, definitely heard Brian say dead heat, didn't I, Rob? Uh, we've just got number two in the frame as first here. With the uh, prize money being split between the pair of them, does this mean now that uh, the uh, two horses are are exempt or now the prize money clause doesn't come in well we'll have to wait and see whether or not uh, whether they are exempt or whether or not it's just the amount of prize money that actually counts for them to go into that but yeah. i think it's just on the race itself it's going to play as an interesting one we've had some interesting ones this week of course uh, mooney valley now has the job ahead of them to turn around and define the cox plate field there's another curly one being thrown towards the brc for melbourne cup day that's right now sea legend there trained by colin alderson ridden by michael clark pacific mirage trained by jim Hulahan. The uh, jumping specialist, written by Jamie Evans, and we still haven't got the third number in the frame yet, which I thought was Island Spy, but that is not up yet, Rob. So oh, there it is now, number 15, Island Spy, written by Darren Murphy. So it's two and seven in a dead heat in a sensational Geelong Cup, and 15, third Island Spy. Now you've got plenty to do down there, Rob. So it's all yours. Jamie Evans right next to me, who uh, played one of the dead heaters, Pacific Mirage, and Michael Clark on Sea Legend. Well, first of all, Jamie, did you think you'd won? Yes, well, I thought it was very close. Um, right at the last little bit, Michael saw us kick back and showed a lot of courage. And, Here's uh, a replay now of Pacific Mirage moving up on the outside of Sea Legend. What about you here, Michael? Um, Dad, I thought I'd just got beat. My horse was... Um, he was trying hard, but the other horse was just sort of... Just got that bit of, bit, of, uh, bit of a margin on him, but my horse continued to fight back strongly. Did you have a saver on the race at all, Jamie? No. Nah. Nah. Were you keen to, Michael? Uh, Jamie's got more money than me, Daddy's pretty tight, I'll tell you. He wouldn't save. Right, as far as Melbourne Cup trials, well, first of all, see legend, Michael. A very good run. Yeah, yeah, it was a good effort because he stayed on well and he, he tried hard, and, and the two miles is, um, you know, certainly won't worry him. Okay, boys, we won't hold you up. Let's go to the presentation. Now over to Glenn Driscoll. Thank you.